Festival of Japan, pretty much the group we wanted. We knew that, we expected that. Is that group going to be good enough to get past Brazil? So a real sense of expectation and excitement around the arena. These fans, as we've seen, know how to play their part as well. Can Brazil keep this crowd quiet? It's Douglas, one of the Olympic gold medalists on this squad from 2016, who will get this one underway. Best of five. Brazil in blue, serving Japan. So handles that pretty quickly. Picked up by Allen in the backcourt, and Allen will look to finish the job here, which he does deep. Right at the feet of the baseline defender there. No coming back from that. So Allen off to a flyer. One of his club volleyball in Brazil with uh, Santa Cruzeiro and that powerful squad from Belo Horizonte. And then Del Zotto looks happy enough with the start his side has made there. Early days. Always good to get that first point on the board, particularly on serve, because it's harder to score on serve than it is receiving. And, uh, too deep there, Douglas. Common feature of serving at this level, elite level, is you will see lots of long serves and net serves because anything that is just safe and conservative and hit over the net just comes straight back. No point serving like that. Sakita, so the setter serves here there's a big hit but it's kept alive in that backcourt this is what they've got to do drag it into long rallies ishikawa can't find a winner and going along there on the far side that's leal mistiming his spike well that's it if you can just draw it into a rally and that was really good defensive work in the backcourt maybe you can tease some errors out of the brazilians like that one there from you andy leal Peter, once again, serving Leal. That'll be taken straight down the gut by Flavio. Quick set from Fernando. These get gobbled up. Lee and uh, Ishikawa just left absolutely stranded and floundering there. Flavio now will serve. Can't take it far side. No touch. It did take a touch. It did take a touch. Called immediately in the chair, Yuki Ishikawa. Conjuring up a winner there. Good tempo to the start of this match. Ishikawa plays most of his club work in Italy and has come up with an ace there. Well, that's a beauty from Ishikawa. That's what you want, just look at that, dying over there. Tales left it, he thought it was going to go. Allen had moved into the corner. So I expect the Brazil service reception to adjust accordingly now. As Ishikawa goes to work again, and no way through this time. Was taken by Douglas and then put away by Allen at the feet of Yamamoto, who can get down to everything, but Allen hit that with such venom. Absolutely no chance of him adjusting to it. She came off the knee in the end. Side out Brazil and Fernando, their setter. One of the uh, Santa Cruzeiro players. A ton of World Club Championships with Santa over the years. That one's driven down the Side there, Yuji Nishida. Reverse set, opening up the lane for him. Slipping it past Yoandi Leal. Lee, the middle blocker, would serve. Backcourt attack hits are going to be effective today for Renan Dalzotto, you suspect. There's Leal. Oh, goodness me, how on earth 
Carl get anything on that at all. The block is there. Yamamoto has kept it alive, though. They'll have another go here with Yanagida scrambling up the net, and it falls Brazil's way. Again, Japan win full defensive mode. And Brazil eventually making the breakthrough. It's Allen again. His presence at the net, his size, that physicality, just out jumping. Masahiro Yanagida there, getting the decisive touch. And Brazil having trailed, have leveled up. Randy Leal, the best server in the World League nine years ago, would you believe? Yeah. Net serve there, but if that had gone over the net, if that had skimmed over the net, that would have created havoc. Nishida then. The block point is won by Taishi Onodera. Big bonus this for Japan. Block points are going to be tough to come by for them, but uh, Onodera gambled, timed it, and executed. Getting the better of Big Isaac as well. It's a real morale booster for Japan. So, and they've got a point off it as well. Might as well have been an ace because Tales couldn't handle it at all. It came back over the net on first touch. And Japan had some wind in their sails as we get to the first technical timeout point, which Philippe Blaine, the assistant coach, will orchestrate. Technical timeout probably arrived at the wrong time for Japan. They really have started flying. That's a technical timeout when the leading team reaches eight points and then 16 points. Both coaches can take two timeouts per set at their discretion. Nishida will stay on serve. Can Japan keep this rolling? It's a beauty aimed at Tales again, who's done a much better job with that one. And Allen finishes it off all about service reception. Tales could not have handled it better. Then it was just join up the dots time. Fernando can consider his options. Allen as good as anybody. The cross court leaving everybody stranded. Brings up Isaac. Toss. Nice to take it by Ishikawa. And put away by Ishikawa as well. First touch and third touch both perfection. From the 23 year old. Sakita hanging it up there. And Ishikawa saying, OK, that's mine. Japan maintaining their edge here. Ooh, good serve. They serve. <laughs> Japan all around. Yamamoto kept it alive, that's all they could do, they'll push over from Nishida, they'll send it far side Brazil, and that is impossible for Japan to defend. Douglas lurking with intent, not much they could do here, other than just push it over and try and regroup, but there's Douglas looking and looking, and saying, my time, the block stranded, Douglas getting the elevation, and Brazil pulling a point back on the Allen serve. But it was a noticeable feature of uh, Japan's performance against Argentina yesterday with their serving, which has been a bit up and down. It has to be said. It's really improved 
Dudley, which is Nakagai Ichin. That's one area they've clearly been working on a lot. Ishii on Adera now, the middle. Serve. The winner. It's on the back side, nothing doing there. Defensive work from Leal. The block is there. That hit Allen and takes a very lucky bounce for Brazil. But Japan will get another bite at this again. It's another long rally. Allen keeps that alive to deny Ishikawa. They'll send it over to Douglas. And he eventually breaks through straight at Yuji Nishida, who just couldn't find the time to adjust. Well, that's the kind of point that will play on the mind of uh, Japan because they dragged Brazil into a rally. They had their chances. But it was the South American powerhouse that ended up on top of that point. And Douglas will serve. Uh, the squad that uh, went all the way to the World Championship gold medal match in Italy less than a year ago. Shikawa handles that. Cross court finish from Yuji Nishida, and it was a good one. Brazil can't close this gap, there's still plenty of time. Played it very well here. Well, the Japanese, they're limiting the mistakes, that's the big thing, they're giving Brazil absolutely nothing. This level of efficiency, Sakita's serve is a good one. Douglas was scrambling for it. Behind you, Royal will scrub one off the block for the side out. Number well, two block has hustled over there. There was enough time for Leal to adjust the angle and go for the cross court. Flavio. Oh, and he served. That's a real bonus. Just straight at Yan Yanagida. Well, what happened here? Watching that one, and uh, there was a crowd of Japanese bodies in there. Maybe it was too crowded in that space. Flavio just dropped it in to see if he could cause some chaos. And he did. That's better. And that's put away. Haku Lee says, thank you very much. And maintain their lead, but the Brazilians are after them now. Ishikawa floats a serve in. That is smashed back with interest. Real power swing. There's no finesse, no trickery. Yoandi Leal just said, stop that. Oh, good. Brazil looking to level it up here. Fernando serve. Oh, it's an ace. That'll do it. Put a little bit extra on that. Created the misjudgment in the backcourt. Yamamoto moved in front of Ishikawa. Anytime you can have two guys going for it, you give yourself a really good chance of something like that happening. And Fernando will look for another one here. Much better take this time. Here he goes against Brazil. Japan holding their nerve here as we approach the second technical timeout. Lee up next to serve. Nice cross court from Allen. Taking a really good angle there. Very hard to defend this. Well, the outsides are doing a nice job for Brazil here. Again. They are with the high ball toss, pushes it too deep, side out. A little rueful look there from Leal, who will know that uh, 
A couple of those over the course of this match may drop for him. Isaac did really well to recover there. Alan though can't find a winner. Japan still with the initiative here, and the block says, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Nishida. Might have got a ton of nylon on that one. Not sure if the block came into play or not. Certainly the presence of the block was enough to put him off. Now, did he get it over the net, or did it, was it all net? No, it's Isaac saying, nope. That can come back. No way through there. So a block point for Isaac, who will now take a jump serve in. He deals with that pretty well. Finished off emphatically as well. Now Sakita was looking for the big middle. Taishi Onodera did what he had to do. And can Japan take a lead into the second technical timeout? 16-14. That's fine now. Good serve. Far side. Douglas denied. They got themselves a chance here. Sakita looks around, takes on the middle again, but he overcooked that one on Adira. The setup was terrific. And on Adira would love to have that one back because that was a chance. As it is, we remain tied. And after this point, we will have a chance for both coaches to just fine-tune and adjust as we get to the second technical timeout. That's after this next serve from Allen. In the air from Ishikawa there. Sakita has to come a long way back. Ishikawa can't get a winner off the back of it. Chance here for Brazil. Douglas, yes, that'll do it. Now they're firing. Again, quality serving. It's Brazil with momentum as we get to the second technical timeout. It was all Japan at the first technical. Brazil are edged in front as we reach the second technical timeout. Well, Alan is getting a first start of this year's VNL. He's been used in uh, sub-duty in the previous four matches and was really impressive. A big, big part of why they managed to overcome Iran over five grueling sets yesterday. He's been rewarded with a start. And he has looked very, very strong. Interesting to see Renan Dalzotto sticking with some of the hot hands from yesterday, all being given an opportunity to carry on. With the Yoandi Leal and uh, Flavio also coming off the bench so well yesterday, but it's Allen. He's been very much a bit part player thus far. Looks like he's going to be given a chance to really show what he can do here. He'll stay on serve. with the dig defensively gets the third touch here Yamamoto picks that one up off the net cord the block is too good Flavio was there just took out Ishikawa and Brazil finally have this set right where they want it first block point of the game then for Flavio Now, following the early one from Isaac a few points ago. And with the defensive play to keep it alive, so he stays back there. So the beauty Yamamoto doing such a good job. And meanwhile, doing a good job on the far side, Nishida. That was a must win point off the reverse set. Seeing the block there and just taking it off the arm of Douglas. Onadira looked to tie it up. 
Lovely pick up there from Ishikawa. It was driven straight at him, and they finished the job as well on the other side. Nishida. Well, talk about transitioning out of defense into attack. Japan doing it brilliantly there. Ishikawa with a terrific rescue there. Douglas denied, and then on the other side, Nishida not denied. Just like that. Japan have got themselves back on. So Onodira will stay on. Side to Allen. No messing, no nonsense. That's working for him. So you know Fernando's going to continue to uh, supply down that backside. Here's Douglas. Hoist and hope time from Ishikawa. And Brazil with options. And again, too much heat. If this turns into a power play show, there's only one winner. Brazil will outgun Japan. And they went after Yamamoto once again. There was no stopping that one. Allen just driving through. That's seven attack points already for Allen. And Japan forced to take a timeout here. As the gap opens up again. Allen is certainly making an impact in his first start of this year's VNL. And they are talking about him right now. Well, they are believers, this crowd, no question. But Japan have to believe in themselves. Now, can they adjust to the impact that Allen is bringing to this first set? Douglas stays on serve. That's good enough, is it? Yes. Ishikawa. The block got a bit of it. And there was a touch in the backcourt. But the Brazilians couldn't get control of this. Maike. Almost getting underneath it, but not quite. So side out, Japan needed that. They can look to level it up again here with their setter, Masahiro Sekita. Floated one over there. That got what it deserved. As easy as you like for Big Flavio. point on serve here and you think this first set will be pretty much done and dusted Brazil looking for the insurance policy here with Flavio the flat serve and another Gida the block is there where's that gonna drop yeah Yamamoto couldn't take a chance they go far side and that's just dropped out just out my goodness me that was close that keeps Japan alive like the block for all the world was going to just take Ishikawa out of play there, but Leal watched and watched. Watched it drop the wrong side of the line and the right side for him. So Japan staying in this. They need a point on serve to get back to level terms. And they're not getting it there. It was close for Ishikawa. But all the uh, pressure remains on Japan working without a safety net here at the business end of this first set. They've got a side out. That's the first part of the equation. Fernando going after Libero again, and then the job is finished. By Yanagida, Yamamoto, the uh, Libero, is doing an awful lot of work. Nice tangling up with 
Yanaguda there, but Yanaguda recovered himself very well. Situation substitution sees Naya Takano come in to provide a little bit more up front. Can they get a block? Because they need this point on serve. That is why Takano's been brought in. A little bit more presence at the net with Aku Lee back there as well. One of the big middle blockers stuck in the backcourt in the rotation at serve. Douglas takes that. Your side, they are ruthless. Not much chance of setting a block up on this. It's Fernando. So, well, I'm going to put that behind me. Off the fingers, and away we go. Yanagida comes back in. Just about be it. Somehow Yamamoto's kept that in play. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Is it just delaying the inevitable though? Yes, it is. The Viper tank finishes the job. All the damage done off the serve. And Japan are forced to take a timeout off the back of this. Going after Yanagida. It's these serves down that middle that are causing such chaos. Koda doing well there, not giving up on it. The backup Libero with Yamamoto being given a breather. But it was just hope for the best, and hope ran out when Yuandi Leal drove through on the pipe attack. Well, they had to use that second time out. But you get the feeling. Does the stable door with the horse long gone here. Leal sings in another one. Too long, just too long. Side out. But Japan have to just pick up points on serve here now. Brazil can side out comfortably to the first set. They say Otake comes in. Sakita will check out again. It's exactly the same play as poor ploy as before. Uh, Takano stays on the bench as so Take comes in instead as they desperately look to get a block here. Ishida's serve goes deep. Douglas hangs it up there perfectly. It's kept alive though. Nishida. Can Otake find a winner? No, he can't. That's Douglas picking that one up. And then Alan saying enough is enough for that. Alan continuing to just do a lot of damage here with the quality of his spiking. One-on-one -on -one battle with Issei Otake there. There's only one winner there. As Mauricio Souza comes in to provide considerable beef experience and Olympic Games pedigree. Switch for Japan at the setter position. Hideomi Fukuatsu, a very creative and tricky setter. But it is set point. Isaac serving. one off the fingertips and that wraps up a very impressive first set they trailed early Brazil but once they got into a rhythm Renan Zaldotto's side just turned on the power show Allen leading the way with nine points and Brazil taking the first set 25-22 not comfortable they were made to work for it but once 
they seem to have got Japan's number. It was just a question of how quickly they'd get the job done. In the end, they won it 25-22. Here's how. So there we go, that's how the first set was won. Notice by the numbers, all those big attack points from Brazil, and nearly half of those coming from the right hand of Allen. A couple of blocks as well. A couple of ace serves. Japan, though, keeping the errors down to a very respectable two. If we look at the uh, spiking from Brazil. This is where they've been uh, spreading them. Cross courts, the odd down the line threaded through. The cross courts all seem to be coming from Allen, who is uh, wreaking havoc with the quality of his cross courts. And you heard Japan taking a timeout specifically to try and deal with the threat that Allen is posing at the moment. So far, he's winning the battle. He is the leading scorer in this match by quite some margin as well. And if Japan can't handle the Allen cross courts, it's tough to see how they're going to make a case for winning this match. If they are going to win it, they're going to have to come from behind to do it. Strong positive start then from Japan. 8-5, Brazil started to crank up the pressure. Let's see if Japan can make the fast start here. Who feel that they would have to be front runners to have any chance? Tough to play catch up against Brazil. Tough for any team in the world to play catch up against Brazil. Japan certainly don't want to be put into that position. Taichiro Koga, the uh, backup libero. He's played uh, all around Europe in the course of his club career. Looks like he's going to get a bit more work as well with uh, Yamamoto being kept fresh. Japan alternating their two liberos through that first set because they're doing so much work. Let's see uh, how the second set unfolds then with Yuki Ishikawa. start they wanted but equally no point playing it safe the morale booster for Yanagida then highlight reels made a mess of the uh, service reception and a terrible swing off the back end of it as well he'll forget that very quickly and he'll need to that's more like it from Leal 
Taking one off the block. them to win the point as well Mike with a terrific dig that looked for all the world like a Japan point but Mike kept it alive and lay out was very quickly shrugged off that earlier sloppy point a couple of quick winners from him Brazil starting to go through the gears a little bit here 3-2 they lead and Fernando will stay on serve and he nets side out everywhere on this point isn't it now, can Fernando restore some order he can set up the pipe attack Coda has done a great job back there for Japan here come Brazil once again Allen swings and misses well a bit of fatigue set in there on that point and there it goes again if you can get Brazil dragged into a long long rally you can Force errors. for the match. Yanagida. Oh, Isaac slow to react. Tales just has to dump and hope the initiative now with Japan. What an opportunity for them. Send it far side. Picked up back court by Leal. Not finished either by Douglas. And then after all that, the win for Japan. That's a big point for them again. Drag it into a rally. He got a chance. What a rally this was as well. Look at that. Nearly 20 seconds. Definition of wild from Yuji Nishida.
Isaac goes for that high ball toss. Net skimmer again. And Aguida did well to pick that up and finished with a plum by Taishi on Adera. Watching on from the sideline, Japan coach Yuichi Nakagaichi knows that his side had built up a slender lead here. They'd opened up a gap. set they've had a couple here already in this second set Allen picked off nicely that by Sakita what a pickup that was and then after all that Ishikawa with the miss those are the shots that uh, Japan can't have it out there and Nishida did everything he could Douglas can't find a winner Yanagida was back court and then the block is Flavio's it's all Flavio Douglas was alongside him as well and the two of them just said no that's not happening it takes Brazil to the timeout It's a real treat for a volleyball loving nation like that to have the Olympic champions and the world number ones in the house. Whilst the overwhelming number of fans are hoping for a Japan upset here, they are enjoying watching Brazil go to work. And Alan has enjoyed his day's work so far. It's a beauty, an absolute beauty. Oh my goodness. You can't place it much better than this. Look for the gap. There it is. Drop it on the baseline. That's not coming back. So an ace to go with all those big cross courts from Allen. It's picked up by Yanagida. Oh, just long, just long. Was there a touch on the way through? Hoping there was one. They're going to challenge it though. Dal Zotto's squad edging in front. Allen will stay on serve. Takano, rather, Ishikawa handles that. Ishikawa will look to finish it. Can't do it. Maike is there. A bit of a mix up. Douglas can't find a winner. Great backcourt scramble and then sent down the line by Yuki Ishikawa. Probably not exaggerating to say that was a must-win point for the Brazilians. They really had to go for everything there, or the, for the Japanese, or they really had to go for it. Superb defensive work from Nishida. And Ishikawa with the final touch. Oh, nice! <laughs> There's a bonus. That one must have moved. Zekita, the setter, conjured this one up. 
Douglas, I mean, can't say he was unsighted. Look how they are moving in on him. So maybe he just had to restrict his movement a bit, and that was all it took. That was better. Went straight back after Douglas. No winner there, though. And no winner there either, because Flavio was saying, ah, uh ah. -uh. Yanagida attacking from deep. Flavio saying, really? You're going to take me on? Good luck with that. Side and Allen. Uh. <laughs> well, sometimes this game is so simple. Somebody's hot. Give him the ball. with the one-handed rescue as well. They all look to finish it off. There's stuff going on at the net there, a little wobble of the net. So the point goes Brazil's way off the contact. And they now have this second set exactly where they want it. And uh, Yuichi Nakagaichi has to call a timeout. Slow this one down. Yeah, there's the contact, no question about that. They're in trouble here. Team watching on, getting ready for action. Once the fellas have got out of the way. thing that you want when you've taken the time out you've got to get that ball back what you can't have is an ace coming back against you and Douglas finds a gap Koga left it Ishikawa left it Douglas says I'll take it it would be asking an awful lot for Japan to come back in this second set it's pretty much done Douglas it's the net call going his way. Sakita so scrambled to it. The block was all over it. Flavio and Leal. The deadly duo there. They're going to challenge to see if there was any touch of the net there, I think. Well, when the set is getting away from you like this, you need to find something to get some traction. Will this challenge give Japan anything? Well, his team is just being uh, outgunned at the moment. this to go their way. I'm sure there's a huge 
sense of confidence here. Let's have a look. Oh, there is. There is a call. Oh, they said no fault. Oh, there is it. Now they've changed it. Now they got it right. That's a smart change. Yuichi Nakagaichi and Philippe Blaine between them celebrating there. Good call by Japan. So your Fukuzawa comes in. I've seen a lot of the veteran in this year's uh, VNL. This is a guy that's been around going back to 2010, an Asian Games gold medalist. A lot of experience just coming off the bench there for Japan. They need all the help they can get. Ooh, Flavio. He's having some fun in there. Out goes Ishikawa. As uh, Takano comes in to give him a breather. Well, it's the three guys who impressed yesterday that are leading the way in the point scoring today for Brazil. Leal, Flavio, both with seven, and of course Alan and those 12 points of his. And at the moment, the Brazilians comfortable as we get close to the second technical timeout. We have to wait for that. Tatsuya Fukuzawa says, I still got a few shots left in my arsenal at the age of 32. That's bringing someone off the bench to good effect. Finished nicely, far side by Fukuzawa, who goes back to back. Well, that's how they dialed it up, but uh, all the problems here came from service reception. When Douglas just let one spin away from him, that handed the initiative to the home side. And Fukuzawa made sure that he made them pay. Well. The substitution has breathed new life into Japan. And uh, Renan Dalzotto is not too happy about that. He's taking the time out on the other side of the net. Here's Haku Lee then serving at 12 15. Leal's made a mess of that. Oh, my goodness. They're going to get away with it. There's chaos on the other side of the net as well. Yeah, they did get away with it. Oh, that's uh, a bit of a disappointment there for Japan. We get to the second technical timeout with Brazil back in control again with a big stroke of good fortune on that last point, and they know it. Yesterday against Argentina in three sets, remember, Yuki Ishikawa helps himself to 28 points. Going up against the defensive strength of Brazil, points are going to be much harder to come by. He's been contained. He's had an ace, he's had six attack points, and that's it. He's going to have to stay focused, stay very disciplined, because the points won't flow like they did yesterday. Not against this opponent.
So let's see who can adjust off the back of that technical timeout. Lovely reverse set. Oh, yes. Nishida taking full advantage of a wonderfully creative set. Sakita send it way backside, and even though Brazil had a couple of blockers reacting quickly to it, they couldn't stop that. And that Lial is just reaching there. All they had to do was slip that down the line. Sakita will check out as Brazil look to try and establish a block here to get a point back on their own serve. Can they set something up here? They'll take it far side. Otake did get the touch, but it's first touch is back over again. And that is finished by Isaac. Fernando was not going to be beaten a second time there. Put it up for the big fella. Well, he thought he'd got himself a winner there when he set up Leal. That didn't happen. So he said, right, let's go inside. Where's the big guy? Fukatsu comes in. Fukuzawa went out there and Otake with uh, a horrible situation. Caught in no man's land against a three man block with defenders set up on the baseline as well. Nowhere to go. Clever serve, had two of them scrambling around for it. The block is their far side. A little duel at the uh, far side of the net. Uh, that was Takano just getting the right side of things there. Took a bit of heat off the ball so it wouldn't come back on him. Onodera then. Oh, well, 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 nobody was expecting that. The element of surprise paying off for Taishi Onodera. A really flat serve, taking a touch. And says, yep, I'll have that. They need a few more of those, though. Flavio would have been a banker there. He's got a second block on it there, Flavio. The block is too strong again. Japan working so hard. No real play there. The initiative swings over to Brazil. And the uh, pipe attack from Leal ends Japan's resistance. Probably wraps up this set as well. Another battling effort. Really good blocking there. Flavio in the thick of it. Leal in the end just saying, OK, enough's enough. Oh, where's this going to go? Uh, that's a big, big point down that far side. Uh, the setter, Fukatsu, doing a really nice job there. Set. 
Too good. And a quiet a second set, Alan. Japan have uh, made a point of trying to keep him out of it as much as they possibly can. All it means is that Brazil have uh, gone to better placed weapons. That's always the decision of the setter. Who do you set up? Go for the guy that's best placed for the finish. And Alan coming up, trumps there. The block, too good. That may have been Leal, all smiles there. Usually the giveaway, Flavio said, yeah, I could have had that. I'll let you have that one, though. Any time there's a two-man block, it does cause problems. And that was all about Leal. Akihiro Yamauchi brings his height into play. So Japan really shuffling the deck now. Nakagaichi looking to try and find a blend that's working. We're just looking a little bit overmatched here. There's another sizzler from Douglas. Well, stay alive, Nishida. And that far side. They're enjoying it. I mean, what an opportunity it is for these Japanese players. You're testing yourselves against the number one team in the world, the reigning Olympic champions. And they're not that far away. Now, first appearance of the VNL this season for Lucas Lowe, the 28 year old. Flavio's touch isn't great. Leal's is lethal. Just look at that. Despairing attempt by the block. Leal puts it right between the two of them. Brazil edge closer to the second set here. Pretty safe serve there. Got what it deserved. Otake says thank you very much. Leal, yeah, just too good, too good. Takano tried to get underneath it, but Leal is uh, really taken over the um, mantle that Allen ha had in the first set, the big power hitting. Leal with his 10th attack point. Puts Brazil on the brink of a two-set lead here. Fernando, the setter, will serve for it. And the block once again. Leal and Isaac were there. Doesn't matter who gets credited with it. It's another block point. It's a sixth block point. It secures a two-set lead here for Brazil, who grabbed the authority early in that second set and said to Japan, you're not coming back from this. That one's finished 25-19. And Brazil just looked too good.
Well, let's take a look at the numbers then. Blocks the big story there. What a difference maker that last one went to Leal, who was uh, quite a handful in that second set. They have six blocks to Japan's one. That's a big, big difference maker for them. Well, let's uh, break down some of the tactics that are going on in this match. Which so far is going very much Brazil's way. Here's the spike placement from set one from the Brazilians with an overload down here to the left as we are looking. And pretty much staying away from the right. Allen was doing all his work down there. Quite a shift in the second set, which is why Allen's productivity dropped off and why others such as Leal stepped up along with Flavio as well, who did his damage down the middle. Those two much more of a factor in the second set in terms of the power hitting. And really an indication there of just uh, what Japan have got to try and deal with because they had Allen coming at them in the first set. They couldn't find a way to get past him at all, couldn't stop him. But then when Allen became less of a factor, well, somebody else came up. They had to find someone else. And they did, because Leal came to the fore strongly in the second set. Had a couple of miscues in that second set, but uh, more than compensated for that with the quality of his work. A couple of block points and that last point as well to win the set is officially credited to him as well. So Leal, like Allen, off the bench yesterday to good effect, being rewarded with a start and making the most of that opportunity as well. Well, the fans have enjoyed themselves. But uh, not sure for how much longer. Because there's been uh, no shortage of effort and intensity from Japan. They've kept the errors down. But uh, as tiredness starts to creep in, the errors will creep up. They were near flawless in that first set. Couldn't have played it much better. But there were a few more errors in that second set that gave points to the Brazilians. And that is something that they just can't allow. Indeed, the opponent error points are very, very close. Just uh, 11 given away by Brazil. Nine now from Japan. So can they summon up something a little bit special here in this third set, Japan? Can they fourth, force a fourth set? Or will Brazil wrap it up in three and plan ahead? to a big South American special against Argentina tomorrow. Oh, the personnel changes for Japan. See Otake and Fukatsu out there. Takano's still out there as well. It's been quite a shuffling of the cards. Fukuzawa there as well. Brazil have seen off most of the uh, Japanese starters now. Douglas, who will get this third set underway. Really strong serve. But, uh, the service reception was good. Had to be Fukuzawa. He's certainly bringing a lot of freshness off the bench. And so much experience as well. He's seen it all. Yamauchi. Who sat on the bench? Backcourt attack is repelled brilliantly by Takano. They're going to have to win it again here, Japan. Can't do it. Can't find it. Flavio winning that little duel once again. Flavio is just marauding up and down that net. Constant presence. Takano keeping it alive. Fukatsu trying to recycle it. Otake stretching. No real play on that. 
then at the other end, just so clever. Little touch there from Flavio, who will now serve and serve a sneaky one. <laughs> Everything's going Brazil's way now. Flavio knows that could have come back, could have dropped anywhere. As it is, he'll say, oh, yeah, I meant this. Give me the ace. I'll take it. Add that to the collection. Flavio now on the threshold of uh, a double digit score. Can see we've got much to play with there, did really well to feed up, uh, free up Fukuzawa, who finished the job. Those two, of course, know each other so well. Great chemistry between those two. And the cross court giving Fernando the uh, lone blocker absolutely no chance at all. Find a winner there for uh, Fukuzawa. Well, he gets a winner on the back end of that, thanks to uh, Onodera. Fukuzawa heavily involved again, of course. Well, couldn't go for the uh, spike. But we'll take the block instead. And it is down to Fukuzawa as well. Well, he's really made an impact off the bench. Can you make an impact from the service line as well? Not the most uh, devastating serve to deal with, and uh, <laughs> there was only one possible outcome there. The pipe attack, absolutely ruthless. You can see Douglas just saying, come on, give it to me. Leal then with serve. That's a nice one. Spun up in the air by Koga. And the block from Isaac. Wiping out Takano. That was too easy. And Brazil at the moment are just cruising here. Well, whether it was Alan or whether it was Isaac who got the decisive touch, doesn't matter. That was a three-man block that they had to try and get past. And there was no way through. They are nets. And they've got the uh, cushion of being able to go for those big ones. The block is good for Japan this time. Takano. Well, it's another morale booster. Showing their real toughness here, Japan. Sticking it, sticking around. He's enjoyed that. And they get themselves back level. side out off the Onodera net. Oh, Japan doing what they've got to do here. Keep it close, stay close. If there is any complacency on the other side of the net, the Japanese might be able to exploit it. Now, Fukatsu will have to be tricky and cagey with his serves. A lot of movement on it. Leal watched it closely, and it was put away by Flavio, who now is in double digits alongside Leal and Allen. And you can't defend that. 
took that so high, Flavio. Allen with serve. That's good enough. Coming back. This is really gritty stuff, this, from Japan. And they're completely reshuffled on court squad. And there's Yamauchi. Off the Fukatsu quick set. Fukatsu just brings them something a little bit different. And uh, Nakagaichi has always shown that he's prepared to rotate his setters in and out. Give the opposition something to think about. Decano tried to give Brazil something to think about with a long serve there, but uh, just missed out. But it's a keenly contested third set as we get to the first technical timeout, with Brazil up by just a point here. Well, they are once again showing what he can do from the outside. You've got Alan Lurkin on the other side. Leal is the guy that's getting uh, the heavier workload at the moment. Even uh, getting the better of a three man block. Which is why the, he has pulled to within just a point on the scoreboard of his teammate on the other side. Between them, Leal and Allen, 25 points. Flavio in double figures with 10 as well. Brazil economical and efficient so far, rather than any great razzle-dazzle. They've taken what's there, taken what's available, and just been very effective with it. a huge stuff block. Well, Otake had two of them to contend with. Flavio on the inside. Leal on the outside. And with that gap opening up off Leal's third block of the match, it is a crisis brewing now for Japan. Can Brazil crank up the heat a little bit more here as Douglas serves long? but it's going to come back again. And Brazil finish it off at the second attempt. Flavio off the uh, quick set inside. Flavio has just been a monster there. So Allen denied by a terrific bit of defensive work there. But again, you kind of feel sorry for Japan. They're working so hard defensively. Matsu just can't be everywhere. Flavio then. Will serve. Otake. Side out. Goodness 
me. That was ruthless. He's just hitting this ball so hard. Just driven down at the feet of the backcourt defenders there. He now goes past his teammate Allen. 14 points. Top scoring. Fernando serves. Just misses. takes any part of the circumference to cover any part of the line, but that's not going to do it. it looked a long shot. for the, uh, the lines and the corners if you can on your serve. That one was in no danger. side by Issei Otake as well. The opposite. Comes up with another winner. Well, Yuichi Nakagaichi is certainly finding out plenty about his squad here. And been forced into wholesale changes of his starters. better at him. Oh, where's this going to go? Otake, nothing doing. Allen on touch. And then, oh my goodness, how on earth have they done that? That's incredible from Koga and Fukatsu. <laughs> it's almost unfair that it should fall so for nicely for Flavio, who just buried it. You've got to feel sorry for Japan. That was brilliant rear guard defense. Koga there, Fukatsu with equally good cat like reactions. They get it back somehow. And then Flavio says, really? OK, bring that back. Cannot play defense much better than that. Allen goes for the high ball toss and sends it long. First to Brazil. Can't shake the Japanese off them. So that now a real chance here for Japan, and they take it. Nakahiro Yamauchi comes up with a big one. They played this third set so well. They just stayed close, stayed close, waited for the opportunity. The opportunity arrived off the poor service reception, and they are now back level. Yamauchi taking that really high. Even Flavio couldn't do anything about that. 
They're loving it. Now, they have some momentum. Can they keep it? The second technical timeout is looming. Oh, yeah, Takano with serve. Leal's made a bit of a mess of that one as well. They'll be continuing to go after Leal. You can be sure of that. Fukatsu with the dig. And the cross court from Otake has just missed. Douglas at 15-14. Top by Takano, back on near side where Tatsuya Fukuzawa has been near flawless with his outside hitting today. then oh my goodness an ace they all looked at each other in the Brazilian backcourt it's Japan who will go to the second technical timeout with wind behind their sails this is an impressive turnaround they stuck around now they've given themselves the lead they have the initiative here in this third set Well, they are fighting so hard for every point, aren't they? Well, that was a real bonus. The ace serve. Well, look at this. You can't play it much better than this. It was all in vain. Look at that from Fukatsu. After Koda came up with that first dig. That was absolutely brilliant. This is what Brazil have faced all night long. You don't get cheap points against Japan. No such thing. Katsu, who brings so much energy. Just something a little bit different with this setting. Goichi has uh, happily flip flopped his setters. And it looks like uh, Kukuatsu is there to stay just at the moment. Koga has enjoyed an extended workout as well with the Yamamoto being given a rest. He's shown what he can do. Now, off the back of that unexpected ace from uh, Akihiro Yamauchi, a little lead to protect here. That's taken away. The pipe attack effective again from Douglas. With a lot of help from all the sting being taken off it. By the block. Drop nice into no man's land. Brazil certainly won't want to be uh, wasting energy in playing a fourth set here as Fabio serves. And uh, Kuzawa can't get a winner for once. Leal. No, the pancake is there for Kuzawa. And then frustration for Japan as Brazil repel Issei Otake. Flavio has already produced a couple of aces in the match. Going on there for it. The block was there from Isaac. They sent it over to Fukuzawa, who's denied again. Isaac was there. The Brazilian blockers are coming up big when they're needed. Actually, Fernando getting the decisive touch there. By the way, it's another one that uh, Brazil won't care. Kind of back in front. Double digits in terms of blocks, and they have officially given that to Isaac. So that's three for him. Flavio stays on serve. No, not that one isn't coming back. Tatsuya Fukuzawa clearly winning that one.
chance again for Japan. Oh, my goodness. Fukuzawa loses out. Always seems to be facing a two-on-one against him, doesn't he? Here's another one. Brazil bearing their teeth here. Set. Fukuzawa then. Oh, this is the plan. Allen is blocked, but the block can't keep it in play. Pretty quiet after that dominant first set, Alan. There's had very few opportunities to come up with plays like that. Brazil now edging ever closer to securing a straight set win here. Leal. Ooh, that took a touch. That took a touch. Big, big moment this. Oh. Goodness me, and it's Fukuzawa as well. Needed to let that go. The ace surely has sealed the deal. Japan take a timeout. Nearly there now then, but that was a bonus, that last one. Well, they've got a side out here, haven't they? Got to get this ball back. And it's Leal going for it with a big one. Oh, my goodness, that was a serve. Can they make a play? No, they can't. They're scrambling, scrambling, and they're in trouble. They're in big trouble. And this one is pretty much all over now. It's again, the quality of the Leal. Le the Leal serve just sowed chaos on the other side of the net. Zinger, and that's nicely handled by Takano, side out. Takashi Dekita comes in, a big defensive middle blocker. No surprise here that Yuichi Nakagaichi is trying to set up a big block. With Japan desperate for points on serve. Lucas Lowe comes back in as well. For Brazil. Ooh, can they get that block? Take the far side to Douglas. Nothing doing there. Where's that going to drop? Douglas has to pick it up. Fernando turns up. And then Alan says, that's enough of that. Well, he started the match so well. He's finishing it strongly as well, Alan. Really good setting as well from Fernando. No block there for Alan to deal with. Anybody could look good like that. Fernando pulling the strings to good effect. Brazil moved to within two points. And securing a second straight victory in Tokyo. Mauricio Souza. Comes in for Isaac. Nice 
cross court. Fernando's somehow managed to keep that alive, though. Allen pushes into the net, side out. Well, they've got to try and establish the block here somehow. With Fukuatsu looking for one of his creative serves. on serve in a hurry. I feel they've got to get something here, otherwise we are at match point. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. And of course, it was Alan. Absolutely ruthless. The man who created all the damage in the first place is finishing strongly as well. And in between times, Brazil have been very, very solid. Match point then for the world number ones. And it's Allen who will look to secure it. Goes for a big one. Otake goes cross court to delay things. No Brazil celebration just yet. But now comes the hard part. They have to win three points in a row on serve. Surely that is beyond these Japanese players. And there's the man in the hot seat. Takano. Looks like it may be coming back. The pipe attack is all that was needed. And Brazil have done what they needed to do. Nothing flashy, just effective. A minimum of effort. Renan Zalzotto's reigning world number ones come out of this one without any scares at all. Japan fought hard. Really good effort for them. But Brazil were never really knocked out of their comfort zone. And in the end, try as they might for all that effort, for all that defensive rear guard action that the Japanese put on, they were just simply outgunned. This one's ended up pretty comfortable for Brazil. Take it straight set, 22-19-21. With Allen ending up as top scorer, just ahead of Leal. Nobody, nobody in double figures for Japan. And this is how it all ended. With Lucas Lowe, rarely used sub, coming in and having the final word in this one. The pipe attack. Wrapping it up for Brazil. Straight sets. Well, let's just have another look back at how they did it then. So that's how they did it. Let's have a look at the numbers, all of which point to a comfortable straight sets victory for Brazil, leading the way in attack points, in block points and in serves, and opponent errors in the end, nearly balancing out as well. That was one phase of the game where Japan had to be very successful. Well, let's just have a look at uh, the uh, spike points for Brazil over the course of this match. Whether it was down the line, whether it was cross courts, they were very effective indeed. And it was... Uh, Two of the guys given a start today that led the way for them with Alan, who started and finished so strongly. Leal just behind him. Flavio taking care of all the traffic down the gut as well. Very effective work for Brazil, who were efficient and effective and good enough to secure another win. They remain unbeaten 
in this year's VNL. They move to 5-0. and They'll be looking to go 6-0 and when they take on Argentina tomorrow. But that, that wraps things up for today. Thanks for being part of the game.